Exactly. Stephen Miller's method of demonizing and dehumanizing immigrants as a way to rally the white base in America continues um, in what DeSantis is doing. It's meant to fuel hysteria about the border and continue to keep immigration in the news. But basically what they're doing is creating a scapegoat, uh, a boogeyman um, out of people who come here because they're displaced by U.S. guns, by U.S. foreign policy, by U.S. corporate colonialism in Latin America. And it's used by politicians who have absolutely nothing substantial to offer a working class Americans. If DeSantis really cared about working class people, he'd support a pathway out of the shadows for for immigrants. Yeah, or or at a minimum, he would be putting people on flights to places where they actually had families or support networks that were willing to welcome them, places that were resourced in order to bring them in. David, listen, the reason we're talking about Ron DeSantis is because you've seen all the same polling I've seen at this moment, which is still extraordinarily early. He's well positioned should he choose to take on Trump in 2024. And so I, I, it's important to me that our viewers understand that what is happening in Florida is not just about Florida, right? It is policy right. that could soon become, whether it becomes national policy because Ron DeSantis becomes president or it simply gets more airtime because Ron DeSantis is a candidate running for president, this is not going away. No, that's right. And it's often said that cruelty is the point, and this is a perfect example. I'm not sure, Alicia, that thousands of migrant families men, women, and children unarmed seeking greater economic opportunity and freedom in the United States of America constitute a threat. Uh, they certainly don't constitute a threat to Florida. And Republicans have gotten away with, with storytelling that this is somehow a danger. It's not. It's actually an asset. And to your point of why, why is Florida taking this position of reaching into other states and, and flying migrants to another state? We could be welcoming them in Florida. We could invest in the human resources and the safety net resources to provide these families an opportunity. And so the cruelty is the point. And to the point, to your point on what the Florida legislature just did, there is good reason to believe that when Ron DeSantis pulled the Martha Vineyard stunt, he not only violated federal law, but he also violated state law. And by fixing it, what Ron DeSantis is telling America is I'm going to do this again. And I'm going to do this again. And if I get to the White House, I'm going to keep doing it. That's the danger. That's the threat. Yeah, I agree. And, and Fernand, listen, I, we're talking about uh, the, the moves they've made about migrants, but we, we could talk about anything that's happening in Florida right now. We could talk about AP African-American studies. We can talk about tracking uh, female athletes' menstruation history. We could talk about the books that be, are being banned in schools. And we know why it is, right? He is trying to out-Trump Donald Trump, you know, is this op-ed I wanted to pull up, talks about, though, is he's doing that in a way that actually then marries policy to that vision. And that is what makes it so especially dangerous. I mean, it is dangerous because he is, as you say, trying to marry policy to a vision. But I see it a little bit more than cruelty being the point, Alicia, the politics of the point. Florida might as well be, you know, an additional caucus night site for Iowa because this is all being done through the performative lens of presidential politics.